Not how long? <laughs> uh, you know, it'd be great if um I can make it so the audio doesn't cut out when I click off of uh New Vegas. Can I do that? No, I I can't. That sucks. <laughs> Shadow fucking popping her head in. Should be nice. Yep. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, there we go. No Vegas. Yeah. Um... If you're here live, uh, you probably heard the BRB music, which was uh, Streets of the New Reno, which is one of the songs that the Lone Wanderer plays. Or not Lone Wanderer, um, Lonesome Drifter is his name. Yeah. I just gotta... Hold on. Is that right? Yes. Playing some bangus. Yeah. I, I just had um two eggs on toast. Yeah. And we're starting dead money, I believe. Yes, with the pimp boy. Uh. Yeah. We we have Wasteland Explorer. So all the locations on the map are visible, um not necessarily discovered. Bloodborne. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Now, uh, I want to actually dump off some equipment because a lot of it's going to be redundant. So so, where is Nipton? Uh, over here. Or Novak, not Nipton. Yeah. But yeah, if you just missed it, we just beat Kirby 64. Yeah. took longer than I expected, but that's because I was getting my ass handed to me by Miracle Matter. <clears throat> Meow. Yeah. One nine seven is our location name. What's Arcade carrying? Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Right now. Not an awful lot.
I do like the idea of keeping all our shit at Novak. But... Um... Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to take all of that. Can't walk. Going to tell Arcade to carry all this shit. Uh, hunting revolver, yeah. Give him everything I'm not going to use. I want to keep the combat helmet. Yeah. Uh, let, let's keep Benny's suit. Because reasons. I'm Milmer Scope. What, what does Maria use? Nine millimeter. Can I mod Maria to have a scope? Something to consider. Um. Yeah, anything with weight. Bolts don't have weight. Um, items. Aid. We can sort that out later. Uh, yeah. Companion is unable to wear faction armor. That's alright. He doesn't need to. God, that's fucking garish. Okay. And then... Just head to North Strip. Deposit all our crap. Yep. Thank you for visiting New Bay. No, we can't mod Maria. Move along. That's coming from them. I never noticed that sound. Damn. All right. And then, yeah, we can just take the lads anywhere, I believe.
Because yes, man. I think. Yeah. Rex is in here being a good boy. All right, Ganon. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Uh. I want, I want to let him keep the energy weapons because he's good with them. Ranger Sequoia is a 44, right? No, it's a 45. The Mysterious Magnum is a 44. Okay, so 9mm. Blade Gauntlet. All the crap I don't need. The Hunting Rifles, Liberator. Keep Maria. Chuck the minigun. I. Uh, the 22. How much damage does that do? DPS 81 versus 107. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have it on standby just in case. Just one of the holy hand grenades. Mysterious Magnum, Sequoia. I'll keep those two. And. Chuck the Silence 22. Am I carrying that I didn't need? I have a lot of health shit. Let's go to the fridge, which is over here. No bathroom. Fridge is over here. Yeah. We should send Raul here before we go. Just, uh, just a thought. Yeah, we're gonna put our aid things in here. And we're gonna keep only what's vital. Fixing things, no.
Stealth boys are really useful though. Stim packs don't weigh anything. Super stim pack I don't like using. That was a chivalry. Woka. Weapon repair kit useful. Ila Fantoma. Okay. Want, I want to reduce this down a lot. Two for 25, three for five. So 15 versus 50. Um, Dr. Bag. Yeah. Have two. Don't want dirty water. Keep two of those. I want to be light on our feet. Um, and what else? Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back. It would be really nice if you could wear the Sunset Sarsaparilla Deputy Badge, but you can't, I think. Let's see. Uh, no, that sucks. Still carrying Sir, anything? Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Yep. Let's keep the teddy bear with us. Why not? <laughs> uh, you, you never know when you'll need a teddy bear. And then, yeah. 
slightly faster, I guess. Unnoticeably so. We can always take the Jake juice with us. Not going to. Big Daddy Billiards, damn. Damn. Uh... I think we have a problem. <laughs> Uh I, I I don't hold on. Okay. I I don't think I ever turned in We we didn't turn in Cook's head. Which is a slight problem. So we get some money for that. Okay, so. We're gonna have to dismiss Ganon and Eddie. Who has some stuff on him. A message will be delivered to all current companions, wherever they happen to be. That they are to return home. No. Okay. Uh, let's tell Ganon. To... What's up? Feck off. Uh... Helping the NCR is better than helping Mr. House, but I don't think it's the best solution for the people in New Vegas. If the NCR can take full control of Freeside and the Strip, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Besides, even if New Vegas eventually gets representation in the NCR Senate, it's not like the NCR runs efficiently. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? Yeah, just go to Lucky 38. Huh, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. Eddie. Return base. Okay. And then... Yeah, let's go to Raul's shack. Tell him to go to the Lucky 38 because the man is miserable in, at his shack. Yo, Raul. Oh, it's you. You need something repaired or something? All right. Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. Yep. Uh, we we can talk about 
Probably Good. a little later. Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. Yeah. Let, let's send everybody to the 38, actually. Devil's Gullet. I haven't been there yet. Uh, where the hell? Not El Dorado. Trading post. Send Veronica there. What's up? What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Uh, I was young and I needed the money. Can you tell me everything about this platinum chip? Yeah, it's not for poker. I've never seen anything quite like it, but I can tell you it looks like it was fabricated before the war and not at a mint. Some kind of tech. I'm going to say mid 2200s. Hold on to it. Might be your lucky chip. Nice. Can I order room service? Okay, so that's all those lads. Boone. We we gotta find Boone. He's at Novak. room are you sure this is Boone's room no uh, which one's Boone's room He's just gone. Uh, how you doing? Are they both up here? Yo, Boone. Is it time? I'm. We should get to the Hoover Dam. I don't want to miss this. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to Boone shit in a bit. I'll make my way there. Alright. So that's Veronica, Boone, Raul, Gannon, Rex. Eddie. Uh, travel to the king now. Lily.
We we can we can do Lily's stuff afterwards. I think hold on. Mojave outpost. Yeah. Cassidy is here. Hello. You come around like a bat. Go with you? Yeah, why not? I need somebody who knows the roads. So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right. I'm in. Glad I left the outpost behind. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Where was your caravan hit? Upside of Vegas, here tell. Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Well, I already been there and nothing worth finding. Well, I still wouldn't mind going there and crossing my heart a few times. If only to make me feel a little better. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. All right, then. Morning. Yeah, we can do this real quick, just before I forget about it. Uh, Cassidy Caravans is... Where the fuck? Near Gunrunners, I think. Hold on. There we go. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Why would they have done it during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. Uh You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. It's a ways, though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Yep. All right, then. Let's move out. Okay, let's put that on hold. What did... 
Did you put a plug in his cock tube to make him explode? Is whiskey a drink of choice? Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. Used to call me Whiskey Rose back west, before I punched enough people, so now they say it. But quiet, and when I'm not around. Whiskey Rose? Yeah, on account of my name. And the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. Where you usually go to drink? There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. You can make moonshine? Yeah. What else are you going to do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. Damn. Careful where you flash that chip of yours. Not sure what kind of caps it's worth, but it's a tempting target. All right. Uh, yeah. What? No music? I'll hold the tears till I'm gone. All right. Don't be long. Robots there give me the creeps. All right. Uh. Let's do it. DLC time. over this way. of the Mojave. What was that? Master of the Arsenal. Uh... Okay. At the bottom? Discover more locations, 75, okay. Left my heart in the Sierra Madre. The location here, by the way, doesn't really make any sense. Why 
like the Sierra Madre is like over here somewhere. Y you kind of just get yeeted like this way. Yeah. Jar of cloud residue. Huh. Equipment storage. Yeah. Dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time, companions are more vulnerable, and so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers, level 20 and up. If you if up to the challenge, continue on. Sierra Madre Grand Opening awaits, and has been for 200 years. Yeah. If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort, make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, Take in the theater, or... Yep. Do some hacking before we go in. Why not? Yeah. See what there is to get here. Now, the reason I sent everyone off is because they can't actually join us through this shit. Elijah's chemistry set. There appears to be residue collecting in the chemistry set. With the proper knowledge, you may be able to collect a sample. Jar of cloud residue. Combat knife. Take that. A laser rifle. We don't have energy weapons leveled up, I believe. No. <laughs> I do not. Dean's electronics. Repair increased by three. Brotherhood Foot Locker. This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There's a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does 
not look part of the original design. Yeah. So, Sierra Madre trips. I don't think there's any here. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Requires key. Which I can probably get later. Yeah, that's all there is here. Aside from all the books. Yep. If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness the opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future not just for the world but for all who came to its doors a chance for anyone to begin again except the sierra madre never opened the war froze it in time like a big flash bulb going off the grand opening one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Yep. I've never done this DLC. Look at that. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Collar? What are you talking about? It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some too. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me, I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Then maybe you better tell me why I'm here. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You will need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. So I need others to pull off this heist. Ooh. Around the villa are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to one. 
And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Why would you do that? Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. Are they all dead? The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward? They were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Huh. How many of these victims did you bring here? Too many, many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many failures upon failures. You think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. Where's my gear? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. What do you mean? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever returned. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt. Craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive. As surely as the caller will. What is this rifle? It was a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. The inhabitants? There's people alive here? Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time. Then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the clock. Perhaps something in their physiology. What is the cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air, copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. 
pre-war industrial pollutants, something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. So exposure kill me. The air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one, you'll die. So be careful when you step. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time. If healthy enough, others were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Is there any place safe to rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. What holograms are you talking about? Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Security doesn't sound safe to me. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Radios and speakers? Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators premature. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Radios and speakers can set off my caller. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky, hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. How do I destroy the radios and speakers then? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. And other questions? I am short on patience, and you are short on time. Where are the vending machines in the villa? Assembly stations. Schematics are stored within. Dispensers with unlock codes. They use the chips scattered around as batteries. Alloys are raw material embedded in the shell. They resemble the vending machines of Mojave, but they are crafting devices of tremendous versatility. Once a little convenience, now... Now they are a means of survival. Use the chips to power them. Select from the holographic display. The device will assemble it. Ask. What is this place? Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa lies in the shadow. 
The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that is aged poorly. All right, so find the other three people with bomb collars, bring them back here. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Who are these people I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no. Although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. How am I supposed to find them? Your piece of Rocco trash will help you, I've ensured it. It can latch onto the signal of the callers. And tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Hmm. Any suggestions for who I should get first? Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, he should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. What's FEV? Hmm. A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. Where can I find him? Travel west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference at the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from Caller there should be weapons, armor at the police station. Go west, avoid the Villa inhabitants, bring the mutants back. That's all I needed to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Dog. Ooh. Who's that? Okay, so we still have the rebreather, even if it is kind of useless right now. <laughs> Hollow rifle. Uh, uh, oh my crap. Is there anything? Well, that one's got a hit on their shoulders. For now. Hope that tourist is hurrying. Haven't got all day. You'd think it was spring, the way tourists keep rolling in. Got an X on my Should back. never have set that radio signal on repeat. That's a way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your caller. Hope the voice doesn't come back. Mean. Bad. So hungry. Dog is sorry, sorry, sorry. Swallowed something bad. Tastes like burnt wires. Please let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Dead man's hand. So hungry. <sighs> Hope the voice doesn't come back. Mean. Bad. What did I do? 
Okay. Oh, found duct tape. Knife. Cos cosmic knife. One. Hold on. Okay. We have bulk ammo. My melee skill is dog shit. Oh, we have bonus damage. At least. Uh, 42 versus 21. Okay. Try to leave and boom. Okay. Get as many of these chips as we can. Five hundred. This gate to the Sierra Madre is sealed. Locked for now. Do as I say, and it won't be locked for much longer. Got it. yeah. So, de Dead Money is really just like a survival game. Residential district. Check the map. Okay. We have the whole area, at least. Run. Medical district. Interesting. Sorry, how does this asshole see me? Okay. The police station. Dean Domino, pristine. Let's take a detour. Christine is in the medical district. Let's do that first.
probably a bad idea. The village comm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Okay. Where is it? Is that it around the corner? Listen before you lose a head. It's that. Okay. Got ya. Gonna be very stingy or frugal when it comes to using ammo. An ammo box. Oh, awesome! My aim is dog shit in that. Nice. Yeah, not not worth shooting. That's cool. Oh god. Okay. Ah. Careful. Careful. Got to find where that speaker is. Can't see it. Oh jeez. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Watch is that? Third. <laughs> uh, twenty twenty six. Still better than a knife. Knife spears eighteen. Oh, I I can repair that. that okay where where the hell is this I, I don't see it Around the corner? No. Boom. Is 
Is it over here? Got ya. Okay. Rebreather doesn't do shit. So we gotta be careful. Uh, that goes up. Gift shop. Thirty. Dope. Nothing. Get out. Radiation poisoning. I don't have my rat away. Sweet. Don't want the chessboard. Thanks. Relax where? Helps with agility. Probably not much use to me. <sighs> yeah. Let's see what else is in here. Nothing worth shit. Wait. Plot residue. Is that 358 I just got? 357. It's probably a revolver nearby. Or at least there's one that exists. Huh. And I don't need to go back through that red cloud. Oh, more residue. Someone nearby. Vending machine code return outfit item. Machine code. D. 
Did you start editing? Uh, yes. <laughs> Hello. Out of lockpicks, motherfucker. Should never have left home, yeah. Need one lockpick. Six of diamonds. Um, Gunrunner's Arsenal. Is this all big mountain stuff? Sierra Madre. Okay. Uh, something to do with cards. He moves in mysterious ways. I need to up my luck for Mysterious Stranger to show up more. I sent you PNGs to use in my video. Oh, okay. We we shall see. Yeah, we're doing Honest Hearts DLC for New Vegas right now, which is basically a horror survival. So you might you might enjoy watching this, Ollie. Um. Hmm. There's one that has to do with cards. Dead Man's Hand. Collected Sierra Madre cards of the Dead Man's Hand. Ace and Eight of Clubs. And Spades, Queen of Clubs. Okay. Well, have fun. I'm exhausted from drawing all day. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, um... Let me show you something. So I have a hollow rifle with very few ammo, right? This is an energy weapon. <laughs> My stats in energy weapons is 30. Everything else I have almost maxed out. What's up, Bruder? Uh, Bruder, I am... In a survival horror game now. Electric hot plate. Ooh, I can cook. Right away. Instant mash. Beans. Might as well take whatever food we can get. I had to do bullshit with work. Uh, yes. King of Clubs. Nice. Is there anything else over here? Shit. He saw me. Was thinking we can go bowling on Wednesday. Ah, that'd be fun. 
Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, my... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Too, too close to something. Uh, my, my grandpa... Was a... Champion bowling player. There's a hand over there. Uh... Yeah, uh, ping me in Discord, so I know shit. Um, I have to be careful here, because that beeping noise means I'm going to explode. I have a bomb collar on my neck. There it is. Get all them chips. Sunglasses, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm probably not doing anything Wednesday. Um, that might actually be a day I have schedule off. Dean's secret stash. He's got a 9mm, son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to craft ammo, aren't I? Yeah. Do I have to jump down here? It's going to make me jump down. Somewhere. You going to nap? Yeah, have a good nap. Uh, okay, where the hell am I? Gift shop. Oh. 20 gauge. The moment I can switch off of energy weapons, we're good. Seven of clubs. Because my gun skill is through the roof. All right, down we go. Bobby pin. Let's go open up that container. Let's wear less shitty clothes. I don't I don't have less shitty clothes. Just need to find a workbench, really. And I can make ammo. Clinic security terminal. 
Check security hologram status. Trolling second floor. Set behavior first floor. Troll. Uploading new behavior program. Security postings. Security protocols. Five point oh. Do not approach an emitter that may have been tampered with. If you must, please wear reflective maintenance gear or metal armor in case of hologram malfunction. Okay. Holographic greetings and security technology requires service from trained professionals and routine maintenance. Okay. Picking up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Right. There is a radio. I gotta shoot. I did tell them to go to the first floor. Physician's office. It's not in there. Doctor's bag. Give me that. Anyways, Bruder, how, how are you? Uh... Neon, my boy. Calendar? I asked about the Sierra Madre's auto dock. He said he didn't want to alarm Sinclair. Ransom test. Miss Key's voice is fine. Her loss of voice was more listlessness, symptomatic of excessive medics usage. When I tried to speak to her about it, Mr. Domino intervened. I warned them too much of the chem. Uh, too much use of the chem could render his subject comatose, and Domino laughed. I lost my temper, and he said they'd return another time when I was in better spirits, despite that man. Domino stopped by to ask about the test results of Vera's voice. Team concerned she would lose her voice for the gala event. Huh. You're frustrated. I, I can understand that. Yeah. Been a lot of frustrations going on. Is there anything behind here? No. Mentats. I can make mentats now. Not that I need them. Because those improve intelligence and my intelligence is maxed. That's a trap. To 
disarm it. This emitter controls a security hologram in this area. Disable. Yeah, what kind of what kind of bullshit you have to deal with at work? Just people being assholes or Ooh. some some garbage. Basement key. Code for the public dispensers arrived today. Sinclair instructed us in their use in case of emergency. Should be able to get the stims and other treatments from the machine. Sinclair indicated it could dispense more based on the nature of the medical emergency or subject's condition. Okay. Download medics. Interesting. Anything else? Surgical tubing? Not being able to find work forms in your email due to them being sent by a different email oh oh that's beautiful <laughs> salesman weekly hey hey that's purified water i want that You think it's possible I'm going to complete this DLC without using a single Sierra Madre trip? Probably not. Anyways. We sweeped this floor. Now let's change their patrol to the second floor. Because I disabled the hollow emitter. Hey. If we're lucky, we'll never have to run into the holograms. Nine millimeter, five pin, radix. Impact Scotch junk food. He's got fifteen stashes. Hmm. Stim packs. We can make those now. Okay. Oh boy, <laughs> there's a lot of corpses here. Gee, that's disconcerting. Gas leak. 
We made three workers from West of the Soul switching station exposed to some unidentified airborne toxin from the ventilation system. Caused severe lung and tissue damage. Inhalation isn't the problem. It's absorbed through the skin. Researching its effects. The gas, whatever it is, may be building up in vents beneath the town. Asked foremen to look into the source before government inspectors do. Chemical suits arrive today. They're bulky, hard to talk, and move in. Asked Sinclair to order more of the event. Order more invent of a leak. Okay. Another cosmic knife. An assassin suit. Sneak plus ten. Dope. And that's a bomb collar. So. These are recent. <laughs> those, those corpses are recent. Let's go. Another part of the hallway. And that's a basement. Okay. Well, hold on. Mark 9 Auto Dock. This unusual auto dock still has a series of diodes and buttons that appear to work. Heal all crippled limbs. Sweet. This is the problem. Okay. <laughs> Downstairs. Ooh, a workbench. Medicine increased by three. I think that's useless at the moment. Okay. I can't make any bullets. Clinic power status. Autodox powered security hologram powered music speakers powered. Please inform clinic management before shutting down generator for maintenance. Disengage main power. Emergency backup for Autodox. Well, that's good. Can still use those if uh, we need.
Malfunctioning auto dock. Ooh. The woman before you looks disoriented, pain, she blinks a few times and winces. Are you all right? Looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. Traces the scar beneath her chin and her eyes wide in alarm. Somebody cut your vocal cords? She glances out the aisle dock, recoils. Nothing comes out. Huh. What's the matter? She looks more angry than pain now. I okay. And suppress the lock on her fingers. It's a bomb collar. Mess with it, it'll go off. She notices your collar and raises an eyebrow. Let's just say we're in this together. If your collar goes off, mine goes off. It's better if we guard each other. Just line the air. Look, together we can get out of this. No. Ah. Uh. What exactly is wrong? Don't you want out of here? Makes a circle with her hands, puts her hand over her eyes and squints. Draws a slow line between you. You're looking for something else. I can help. All right, come with me. Christine has given you the signal interference perk. This perk grants you a short period of time near a speaker before your bomb collar starts to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time before your bomb collar detonates by 50%. Interesting. So... She was in there for a long time. And... Hold on. I'm back. Yeah. Glances at the speaker, then glances at your collar, frowning. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it'll go off. Okay. Taps her collar, then opens and closes her hand really fast. She points at your pit boy, your collar, and then your collar. After a second, oh, okay. You can interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency somehow. Points at your collar, then hers. Then nods at your pit boy. 
Does that work with any other color? No. It's just your frequency. Okay. But only between us. Huh. So the way the frequency her caller Ghost person? Oh. Okay. Anyways. So the interference between the two callers that we have makes a frequency that fucks with the speakers. So the time increases just enough. Yeah. Do do I have twelve? Twelve bullets. Fifty five. It'll have to work. Ooh. It, it, excuse me. <laughs> is, uh, is that exploded there? Mister. Is that bloody mess doing a thing? Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Let's let's stick to the knife for now. Cafe is closed. Interesting. Town square directly ahead. I've been through here already. Got it. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Gonna need some fucking hell soon. Um, yeah.
What what else here? Okay. Sweet. Where where is a thing? Make things. Got gotta locate one. There it is. What heals the most? Uh oh wait, we can make some packs. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. And then I can make else. What does that give me? Huh. All right, let's go get the dog, I guess. Um, you return. Why? Gather the three as I've instructed, then I will have more for you, not before. Then go. The Sierra Madre may wait. I will not. Uh, those facial scars weren't done by the yellow duck. The throat scar was. Yep. Uh, don't understand why they shaved you bald. Uh, she's just bald anyway. So you cut your own hair off? No, nah, she's just bald. You were bald before. Writing something. You are a brotherhood of steel scribe. looking for something okay you're looking for someone yep one person a man clenches in the sky an angry bearded man. The man on the Pip Boy holotape, Elijah. Yep. Someone smart. And nuts. Sounds like it's pretty important to you to find this person.
cut you off from someone. Uh, family? Husband? Oh, girlfriend. You're more than girlfriends. Lovers. Yeah. What? You think I don't understand love? <laughs> I understand how important it is. Taps for wrist. How'd you end up in the yellow dock? Uh, you were knocked out. You want to know how I got here. Uh, just pointing at the spot between you. Just raising an eyebrow. Follow the radio signal here, a woman's voice. I was curious where it led. Slowly shakes her head, then points in the direction of the main gate. If I could leave, I would. Are you saying it's one or the other? What about you? Can you write? <laughs> Tries to write, then shakes her head. Something to do with the surgery. Uh, there's a specific brain form of brain surgery using electrodes pre-war. Drawing X's. Med X. Or you can still do numbers and calculations. Mm. What weapons are you skilled at? Throwing. Okay. Energy weapons, explosives, melee, unarmed, and guns. Hmm. Okay.
Uh, yeah, stick with me a little longer. Bye. Well, off we go. And let's save. Before we do something dumb. Uh, yeah, we gotta go this way. Trish is mine, asshole. Oh, yeah, I already got was in there. Mm -hmm. Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first. No one in here. Good shit. Got to run real quick. Okay, out of there, out of there, out of there. Come on. Thank you. Is there a door in there? No, there's an oven. Nothing in it. Anything on the table? Nope. I... okay. Find me and we can talk. Is that a trap? I wonder. Hmm. Might just be. Tinted reading glasses. Some trash. Huh. Magnum. That's 20 gauge. More than nine millimeter. Give me those cases. I'm noticing the frame rate gets very scummy here. For whatever reason. Hope that tourist is hurrying. Haven't got all day. Should never have set that radio signal on repeat. Inside's growling. 
Okay, I think this one's just Elijah. And I'm not sure what that other one is. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Huh. Got a corpse. That is a corpse. Oh. Bean stash. Police pistol 357. How much we got? Thirty-five. Sixty-nine DPS, that's nice. Stim packs. And it's got a knife spear. And watch out for the villain inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Find God in the simplest of beasts. I'm going to save that. Father time can be beaten. Who's writing those messages? Excuse me. Oh, he's just getting up now. Nice. <laughs> uh, they, they can't get back up if they have no head. That's something. Yeah. They will respawn, I believe, though. The casino is the old man's collar. I see. So I can actually activate the holograms on purpose to deal with the ghosts.
Move fast. Oh god, oh god. There's a guitar in there. Nice. What is that sound? That's got me asking questions. I want to grab that residue. Yeah, this, this whole area is some bad frame rate. The police station. Investigate further. Rad roaches. Not sure why there's rad roaches here, but all right. Back door of the police station. A lot of explosives and books. Sierra Madre armor. This is fourteen. Fifteen. Marginally better. Can't repair it. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you see that? Sluggish movement. More cockroaches? <gasps> Yeah, oh fuck, oh fuck. Bains. Simply amazing. Death by beans gas. Yeah. Uh, silent but deadly is fucking real here, huh? God damn, Elijah, what kind of fucking beans you eating? Well, let's get everything up to like a comfortable level here. Um. Explosives. Uh, 
energy weapons. Is that just repeating a line that we already heard? Another cosmic knife. Counter frequency is temporarily blocking the speaker. Here. Oh, geez. Where is it? Steady. It's over here. Oh, it's the radios. I think. That is dog, I think. God helps those who help themselves. Huh. Now, who is this lad making religious statements? There's some scotch here, some vodka, some whiskey, absinthe. Binoculars, good to have. Let's, let's make a sweep of the whole place. Who, who is she talking about? Let's 
Sinclair to the rounds again today. Uh, don't know how smart he is trying to make a resort to escape everything in the outside world, but rich guys can make it happen. Set up the radio room downstairs to broadcast through the speakers. Don't want to miss tonight's performance. So there's a fuck ton of radios downstairs. Team stash. Weapons and the mines in today. Shotguns. Dispenser. Codes can unlock ammo and repair units for the dispensers. That's interesting. C4 explosives and a detonator. Sierra Madre helmet. Not gonna wear it. Cause six whiskey don't wear no helmet. Gonna regret that statement. <laughs> Okay, I can break down. Okay, I don't, I don't, I can't make 357. What can I make? What cases do I have? I can make 20 gauge. And 9 millimeter. Um, yeah. Can I also break down 308, which I don't think I want to do just yet. Physically can't get close enough to talk to him, unfortunately. You know what? We we have enough fucking ammo here. Let's fucking use the pistol we got. tickets where's the radio the fuck it's on the other side isn't it shit run around
doing a lot of Sierra Madre trips. Dog command tape. Play the audio log on your pit boy near dog cell. Huh. Nothing to shoot. expecting I'm disappointed still even if you aren't my intended guest you take direction good you can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage or perhaps you are with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck with our collars and manacles why we may as well be kin What happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Hmm. 
In super mutants, brain damage is usually the result of prolonged stealth boy usage. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog from clever humans like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Huh. I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where's yours? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. If that collar inside you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. How the hell did you eat one of the collars? They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside. Alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Maybe you shouldn't go shove an old world tech in your stomach. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. I got other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. You wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. If you had the key in there, the old man can order Dog to open the cage. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I can play his voice, yes. I have an audio log from him on my Pip Boy. You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage, end you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Calm down. Follow me willingly, I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, 
You won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. I can't convince you I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man, so I'll prove it. Prove it? How? Words are worthless. Mm -hmm. I have the power to let the dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. dogs more docile easier to control you may regret this this place this place is where creatures like dog can survive the people that fill its streets he is as vicious more vicious than them his hunger can help you more than I can when I am in control this shell is difficult to fight in what do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, Fighting will be far more difficult. Mm. Even if dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. All right, let's get out of here. You already have someone in your shadow. I'll meet you at the Villa Fountain. All right. Jesus, he's fast. Sierra Madre. Where's this go? Key. Police Chief's Terminal. Uh... Nope. Upholstered. Disengage contraband room lock. Prohibited items. Sinclair's prohibition list is going to be difficult to enforce. No sooner than Sinclair gives his prohibition speech as Pal swings by the same hour asking how hard nosed we were. To be, uh, going to be. Told me we couldn't guarantee he could keep me supplied if I didn't treat his friends with the same respect. Yeah. Security system installation. Stuff. Hey. Grenades. Buff out. Super stim packs. 357 rounds. Brass knuckles. Automatic rifle, 308. And that's about it. Oh. 
police station. Aim is shit. Air trap fist. Interesting. There's another one over here. Heck. Find Dean Domino. Cannot fast travel. Is that clear? No. Just the dude breathing. If that human wasn't wearing a collar, what's taking that human so long? That one's got a head on their shoulders. For now. Should never have set that re. Just gonna leave this on. All right, then. You return. How'd I get here? I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. Why is my vision blurring? It is the cloud that surrounds the village. It shouldn't prove lethal in the time you were here. Prolonged exposure would be hazardous, however. Fall asleep. And you will not wake up. Okay, so those beds are traps. Dogs are going off. Who are you? Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the Pip-Boy here. And straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. How are you speaking to me? Confused? Don't be. 
I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Numbers, equations, circuits, all can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms include... Who's the woman hologram in the fountain? I do not know. A pre-war icon, perhaps. It is of no consequence, aside from being a servant I can utilize. And What's inside the Sierra Madre? That is for me to know. You get that far, you'll see for yourself. Gather the three others needed for this job. Return them here. After that, I'll have more instructions for you. It okay. So we're going this way then. Got nothing on him. Dang it. Oh god, yeah, he's back up. Hello. There we go. Another Sierra Madre helmet. Doesn't do a lot. So I'm going, I see. Might be a waste of ammo. Potentially. That's fine. More cosmic knives. God, yeah, fuck. Why? It's like really bad frame rate. J just looking around, that's. Ugh. Where does this go? Lines. That doesn't look safe.
some crap over here. Martinis. Ooh. Uh, dying. Holy shit. The veins are getting to me. To me, veins. Okay. Hurry, hurry through. Is that just like a shortcut? You missed one in the water. Did I? Yes, I did. Eagle fucking eyes. Lad. Thank you. There's a radio nearby. Or, no, I've been there already. Going the wrong way. How did I... Right. At your service. Mm. The, the, uh, chips are very useful. Specifically because ammo. What is this? Leave the Salida del Sol gate alone. You're not done with the villa yet, so don't stray. Well, I don't even have the key yet, so cool. Wait. Can I just pop your head? No. Got a double tap. There we go. We're getting to the traps now. Come on and die. Mm. That's very friendly. More secret stash, hell yes. Good shit. Alright. We're good shit. Good shit. Hell yeah. Return outfit item. Sweet. Uh, okay. Is that? Hold on. So, residential district. Okay, I, I see. I have to go 
back where the clinic is. Okay. I, I was getting confused. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Why does he got a gas bomb? Oh, hello. Bullet. Good job, Christine. Christine. Uh, there's more bones. So many beans. Okay. Yep. Deadly beans. Escape the beans. No. Ooh. Double stash. Hell yeah. That water is a trap. I'm going to hold on to that martini. Go back down then. And through this time. Okay. Oh. 
I can't remember if I found a 9mm anywhere. But it would be helpful. Right about now. More bullets. I think I think three hundred bullets is enough right now. Yeah. Hey, we can get shit by returning clothes. I should be doing that more. That was close. Yeah, just almost fucking got shot in the dick. Sorry, that, thanks. Is that it? How good is that shotgun? Auto rifle? Does 250 DPS. Um, I don't think we got the shotgun. No. That looks like a trap. Yep. Oh, two. Did I get bullets or the gun? Christine? Okay, there she is. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> Just fucking gone. That's beautiful. Someone nearby. Gonna get shot in the dick. Yep. Let me just. That's him right away over there. How did she not? Set that off. Maybe she did.
Sorry about that. Didn't hit an auto save. Apparently. Your location. Detonators. Watch for traps. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Fuck that shit. Uh, I don't. I don't even fucking care. Dis disarm tripwire. Where the fuck is the grenade? There we go. There he is. My aim is shit. My aim is shit. Where the fuck? Where is it? There it is. Thank you. Ah, uh, and he's back up. Trappers, ah. Oh, I gotta go down there, don't I? Yep. Oh, well, we found the sexy sleepwear. The most valuable thing in the universe. Their fist game is intense. Yeah, I know. They put Fisto to shame. And I'm dead. What? I should really be saving more often. Um. Yeah. Sweet. That was a holy hand grenade size explosion. Like, that is insane. How far away that got me from. Throwing flash nuke, yeah. Okay, uh... Good shit. Hmm. 
There's some in the water again. Yeah, we'll get it later. Let me just... There we go. Yeah, just fucking damn. That was a big explosion. Okay, she's not setting that off. That's good. Where? There it is. That's a gigantic fucking explosion for that. Jesus. Oh, hello. Did you knock Christine out again? There, there's a fuck ton of fucking mines around. Get, get all my chippies. Yes. 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 Gotta get all the chips. Gotta tell people to be quiet because the, the fucking room I'm in does not have a door at the moment. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's a lad. I'm gonna take your shit. Apparently not. Dean Domino. Yo, what's up? Have a seat. Came all this way. The least I can do is let you rest your feet for a second. Uh -huh. The Sierra Madre. Tea, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. There'll be a shape charge or you're going to kill us both. Sounds like you've done some blue collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still, get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far for your head, it'll turn the moon cheddy pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite 
and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. I'll save my questions for the end. Please, go on. And that's what I've missed, a rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Your negotiating skills assume you're bargaining from a position of strength. What are you talking about? Our callers, these neckties are linked. I die, you die. That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. Agree to come with me, or I get up from this chair and kill us both. Shape charge or no. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like Medage finally caught me. I'm listening, partner. What's next if we're death till we part? Near the fountain and we'll hear what the next step is. Not leaving me much choice. The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. Not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you. Any reason you can't find your way there? I know what's out there. It's why I've planted a minefield, shotguns, and explosives all the way on the road to my little boudoir here. So we go together or we're not going at all. I'll split my hand in blackjack when the time's right. I'm not splitting up in this town, trust me. Fine, get up and follow me. All right, all right, but you already got company, so tell you what, I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see. It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through the gate. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate. Sweet. Uh, oh, there's a door here. Just head right on now, I guess. Gotta go through the Kool Aid. God fucking damn, they take so much damage. Yeah. Holy shit. Stim pack, thank you.
So, uh, yeah, you guys don't see what's on screen, do you? Yeah, the game, the game just fucking crashed. Look at that. Good, good shit. Good shit. Mm. The the game doesn't exactly want to launch now either. That, that's real fucking interesting, huh? Yeah. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't want to launch. Hmm. Can I launch the game? Uh. From here. Nope. What am I here? Nope. <laughs> so something happened. And now the game just doesn't want to start. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh. What, do you, what do you want to bet? It's because I have the controller plugged in. Yes, it is. That's fucked. The the game fucking crashed because of the fucking controller. That's amazing. And now my controller doesn't want to work. That's fucking awesome. Let's try something. Remove controller.
it doesn't want to. It just works. Yeah. Well, let's see. Okay. I, I I don't know why that happens. Cool. At the mouse and keyboard land. Is it? Hold on. It still thinks my fucking controller is plugged in. Hold on. Settings. Controller. The hell? Well, Steam is having a fucking aneurysm. Okay. Um... Okay. Reopen Steam. Like, the fucked up thing, um... It's trying to disconnect my controller, but it can't. I don't know why. So that's strange. Yeah. Where did we last save? Hmm? 
Oh, good. I really don't like using mouse and keyboard for this game. It, it it is really just fucking painful. That tourist crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't. Too far away. Save. Cool. We we actually made it through. Cool. Yeah, I I, I think the uh, lad's a little more than unconscious. Don't don't know exactly what might give that away. But yeah. All right, the gang's all here. Can't believe the idiot. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. What is the gala event? A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, and travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. What do you mean? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre. We're plundering history, taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. How am I supposed to get the markers on my map? I've unlocked the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. You've lost for a scene signal interference, Spurk. Okay. It swallowed his comrade. I can't believe he swallowed his comrade. 
So, are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? What do you know about the gala event? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then... I'll make sure you pay in blood. Mm -hmm. Is there any reason you're assigned to this point on the map? Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength in the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. More. Don't push your luck. How do you switch back and forth between voices? All it takes is the right command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist, and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him. The one in the police station. That'll call me out. Hmm. Why does that make him go away? Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. Why did you put emphasis on the word master before? The master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish was conditioned to serve the master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. So that's a little tie-in back to Fallout 2. Oh, well, it's Fallout 1, actually. Sounds like it makes you mad. Mad? Mad doesn't even begin to describe. There's not a word for the hate I feel inside. It's consuming. Twists every thought to red. After all that's laid ruin to the world. Again and again. I thought at last we could be free. Thought Dog could be free. No. No, the world's always got another cage Waiting, keeping everything you want Just out of reach What does Elijah do that Why is yeah. What does Elijah make Dog do that angers you so much? Gather others, drag them here Fetch, like an animal And hurt them if they resist Dog doesn't even blink even hear their cries when he's twisted their arms full circle. Fragile things, screaming on the ground. To listen to him, commanding Dog to hurt others. And Dog just nods, eager and willing to serve. Can you do anything? Do anything? Me? Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... Uh, uh, never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back, screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands, lock Dog up. You're trying to protect Dog. Having Elijah control him, hurt him, you want to protect him. I've watched over Dog for so long 
trying to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. You care about him. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint. Let go of the needs, the hungers. Ease the burden. Just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. Why can't you control him? The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice, and I woke up to protect him. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? Who's this old man who brought us here? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. Why do you say I'm the same as him? You're not him any more than I'm dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. What do you know about him? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. Yeah, he's referencing some future shit. Scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah, Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. What's he doing here? Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for master's affection. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. 
You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. You brought me here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No, Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent, before the cage. This dude is wholesome. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, super mutants are a mixed bag of just like mental illness and like shit tons of trauma. Uh, and and this guy was one of the masters super mutants. Um. Yeah. So so when he died, because your main character in Fallout kills the guy in one way or another. Um Yeah, a, a lot of the super mutants were obsessed with following their leader and didn't know what the fuck to do after the guy died. So they generally tend to follow whoever's the most powerful like physically or just anybody who has like the ability to command them some way dogs a nightkin uh with multiple personality disorder um so in his case w one of the personalities that came out was an authority figure to tell Dog what to do. And and that's... Well, he, he called him God because I guess he looked in the mirror. <laughs> Anyways, why do you say that? I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is? is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free, hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? I don't remember. I only woke up, woke up when my pit point went active. Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. <laughs> More. Uh. I want to know more about the man who brought us here. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. You're the same. Okay. Of course I know. Every you. So you know the way back. The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave. Try to disobey. And your collar ends the journey faster than you can say. Begin again. You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can... I can find the way back. If back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go, you're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. Me? Uh, what's Elijah doing here? Heard the call of the s finds out it's more than a dog note. Okay, what does dog know? Ask him. 
Or better, don't. It wouldn't be an interesting conversation, much like this one. We'll see. Nice. And now we got all oh, good shit. Good shit. Get that up to motherfucking 75. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, you know what? 77. And we got, we got new perks. We got new perks, everybody. Shining armor, intense training, junk rounds, bullshit. Oh boy. Hmm? I want to see which ones I didn't have before. When you're deep in enemy territory, you just start chucking grenades and hope for the best. No. Uh, okay, let's see. Is there anything... Pistol related? Fortune finder? I want to raise my luck further. I think. I can take another tag skill. Unnecessary. Um, better crickles. Yeah, let's intensive training. Seven. Quick save. Christine. Okay. You think he's using the Pip Boy to establish the projector connection? Yep. Rotates 100 degree arc and back again. Think he might be close then. Any idea where? Okay. Turn your arm around. Looks at the center module. Turning on the local map, she scrolls the Sierra Madre's main gate. Point to west and tilt her head. Why do you think he wants you to go to Puesta del Sol switching station? Raises her left wrist. Uh, tries to type, pauses, and slowly shakes her head. Neither Dean or Dog have the technical aptitude to man the switching station. Uh. Things would be a lot faster if you did one snap for yes, two snaps for no. Alright.
Okay, okay, I get it. better than finger snaps. A smile? Now that's more like it. Dang. Do you know how to get out of here? Okay. Yeah. So once the car is gone, we can just leave? Yep. That, that we can. You're saying it'll be difficult to return here if we leave. To return here if I leave. Okay. But not you. Why can't you find your way back? You aren't going to leave. Okay. Are you trying to break into the casino? Hmm. All right, you. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Well, what's going on with Discord here? Just updated. The hell? Okay. Uh, Vera Hologram. You know the holographic woman? Yeah, don't you? Or, guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Can you tell me about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. You knew her before. Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Huh. Is anyone else alive around here? Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in the tall. Have you tried to deal with them? Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food. Nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. 
My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. Where'd they come from? Friend. There's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. There is more between heaven and earth. Oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they call to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Is there anything else about them I should know? Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. <laughs> I found one of your stashes. Why did you leave them around the villa? Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Like what? I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. How you make it? Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Dean has taught you the Sierra Madre Martini perk, allowing you to mix cloud residue and junk food in a tin can. Nice. Of course you do. Let's hear them. Uh, what weapons are you skilled with? Not one for fighting, if we can avoid it. Still wasn't bad at the pistol range. And over the years, I've learned how to handle a knife. And explosives a bit. A bit bit made a lot of mistakes along the way still have my fingers though according to the marker you're slated for a spot in puesta del sol no looks like a rooftop in puesta del sol in better days nice view now it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off that place during spring, summer, and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Any idea why he wants you there? Partner. I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination, lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it.
Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys need it doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. What about Christine? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. No, I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. Not following you. Odd man out, dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like Know anything about this gala? Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Why? It sure is interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the Fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. The gala events tied into the casino generators? Right, look. So not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. What do you mean Sierra Madre broadcast? Well. Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? So it's not an invitation, it's a call for help. Yeah, the Sierra Madre's last song. One only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Tell me about the cloud. The cloud showed up after the bomb, I think. I got used to it in small doses. Now it covers the city. Over the years, it kept climbing up out of the Sierra Madre until it was curtains for the sun. Didn't see the sky again. Doesn't seem to bother the ghost people. Can't see through it too well, though. So sometimes I can use the cloud for cover. If I get desperate. Of... What can you tell me about the villa in the town? Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station, it's a ghost people hangout. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come to the villa much. West town and east town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people like hunting grounds where are the vending machines those little company stores Sinclair's toy boxes put in the casino chip get a treat like your 
are some dog doing tricks. Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for, uh, unconventional items. For emergencies. Never seen machines like those before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Grifters? Sinclair made sure if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. How do you describe it? Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. What well, other items can you get out of the machines? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Where can I find them? Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. Have other people shown up in search of the Sierra Madre? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long. And they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over. And they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. So all the visitors kill each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. <laughs> then they start thinking it over. Start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks. And then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. What happened to the people who came to the villa? Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Any advice to getting through this? Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you. It's over. That's enough for now. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Okay. If it isn't the clever one. I want to see what happens when I play the thing. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Are you listening? From now on, what Remember you. You were mean to dog. Make dog sleep. And other voice come out. Dog, do you know why you have to go to the position on this map? Hard to pull things? Dog has to pull very, very hard to... Are we going 
there. Dog not want to stay and pull things. Hard to do. And cage there. Did you bring me here? Dog fetches. Dragged you here. Dog thinks. Do not struggle like others. Trap makes you sleep. Make your voice go to cage. Dog doing what he was told. Try to catch as many as he can. Can eat the others. No eat you, though. Master talk through you, like voice inside dog. Dog missed hearing master. Not hear master for a long time. Do you know the way back? Might find way back if master lets you go. If he not want you to go, he makes head red spray. Then dog has to find another one. To leave? Go through gate. Walk. Hard to find way. Dog can do it. Too hard for most to come here. Why so quiet in streets? Could I find my way back? Maybe. Not sure you could find way back once leave. Dog has to smell and hunt for path back here sometimes. Cloud keep moving. It okay. No one ever leave except dog. And dog not want to leave. You here until master lets you go. Can you tell me about the other voice inside you? Don't know where other voice come from. Wish would go away. Always trying to stop dog. Caging dog. Voice started talking not long ago, dog think. He was always there. You start talking when master showed up. Making dog sleep. Go to cage. Voice hates master. It okay. Voice always hide when master arrives. Go quiet. Watch Master as he does things. Boy scared of Master, dog thinks. Sounds like he treats you well. Master always feed dog if not in cage. Master lets dog do what dog wants. Not like other boys in cage. Always mad with dog, shouting at him. Can you tell me how you got to the Sierra Madre? Here? Followed voice in air, then here. Here as long as can remember. Don't like this place. Hard to find things to eat sometimes. Better than the cage. Dog doesn't like being locked up. Voice in air didn't say anything about a cage and nothing to eat. Voice in the air? Dog hears many voices. One in air, the other one, and master. Master is the nicest, gets mean, mad sometimes, but lets dog feed. Master was quiet for a long time until dog heard him on your arm. Did you eat him? Dog gets hungry too. Being hungry makes the voice mad. <coughs> He takes care of dog. He tells dog what to do. Told dog to come here, put collars on people. Sometimes people fight. Dog holds them until they go quiet. Don't make any noise. If collars don't fit or go too quiet, find others for master. Master makes the other voice go away. The other voice hates master. Dog can feel it. Master's voice is like pain. Protects dog. Where's your collar? Lost it. Got hungry. Made the other voice mad. Madder than it ever was. Mad enough to lock dog up. What's the other voice? Other voice. Don't wake him up. When voice wakes up, dog goes to sleep and voice climbs up in dog's head. The voice puts dog in places, puts him in cages, and locks him in. Do you know how to wake him up? Sometimes when dog gets tired, or eats too much, gets full. Sometimes when dog goes to the cage, then voice wakes up. 
The voice locks dog in when it comes up, always trying to keep dog from food. Voice did it at the cage where you found me. Then master came. The scars on your body, where did you get them? Hurt self. Hurt makes the voice go away. It doesn't like pain. Dog doesn't like pain either, but keeps a voice quiet. So dog will hurt self until voice dies. Dog hurt self enough, voice go away, never come back. Is that why you have a bear trap locked on your arm? Dog put his hand in it. Hurts. Made the voice go away. Now can't get it off. Don't want it off. Hurt keeps voice sleeping. Bleeding. It also keeps others quiet too. Dog hits them with metal bear teeth until their voices stop. Makes master's voice come back. Let's see how he reacts when I bring the dude back. Dog, back in the cage. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Okay. Uh, I need you to get to your gala event position. Maybe dog will obey you. I'm not as easily broken. You're a brave. Hmm. We How long have we been going? About seven hours. Yeah, I'll, I'll call that good for now. Do, do I have a better suit? To, to fucking match this shit? Nope. Well, I have the assassin suit. <laughs> uh, park stroller outfit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. The 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 fucking keyboard controls in this game annoy the shit out of me. Honestly, like. To, to no fucking end. Um. God. Ga Game Brio is not fucking designed for mouse and keyboard. In, in the slightest. And. Yeah, it's a, it's a little better. In Skyrim. It's manageable, but. Every fucking game. By Bethesda released prior to Skyrim. Oh. Okay, o Oblivion is a little different. A, a little bit. The the mouse acceleration is not fucked to Oblivion. Eh. <laughs> but um No, fucking Fallout and Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas just I I don't know what the hell is it. There's like a baked in mouse acceleration option that I can disable in Oblivion and um Marwin doesn't have it uh Skyrim it's disabled by default and, and I, I don't know why it's there but I, I think it's because they tied everything down to keyboard or controller controls because consoles 
And then the fucking port was kind of half-assed. Yeah. Anyways, let's let's see who the fuck is live. Let's see. Um, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, there's two people dreaming right now. Maybe we might check. Let's see. Uh. Well, let's see. Yeah, Brett's still streaming. Yeah. So one of my mods, uh, Kawhi Brittany, is currently doing a 24-hour stream of just stuff. <laughs> yeah. Brittany. Oh, yeah, her, her shit on Twitch is lowercase. So you guys go check him out, check her out, and have good times and all that jazz. I'm getting, I'm getting notifications and shit. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need to get some fucking food. You have a wonderful food. I will. I will. It's fucking. Rice leftovers I got. I'm gonna eat that shit. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Anyways. Uh also, yeah. Neon, you you just missed when I was doing Kirby. We we beat um zero. So that that's nice. Yeah. I should also probably update my shit here. There we go. Yep. That's some good shit. That is. Yeah. I have to edit a bunch of trash. That's gonna be lovely. Poyo! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. You you guys have a wonderful time. Um, hop in that raid. Do some good shit. And uh, I will see you guys later. So, have a wonderful day. Peace the fuck out. And... Love yourselves.